All right, this uh, this is just a little video I'm gonna put together to supplement the ad on eBay. Um, pretty cold day here in Michigan. It's about 41 degrees. I've got the 92 Tempo GLS here. Uh, pull it up from the barn back there, the red one, last night. Put it under the carport. Didn't know it was gonna be quite so rainy today, so unfortunately we're restricted to this small space. Um, so again, to, to kind of go back over it, uh, it's a 92 Tempo GLS V6. That's a two-door car, five-speed manual. Um, the car has 60,000 miles, but I kind of wanted to give everybody an up-close look because uh, there's still a few minor flaws. It's not a perfect car, but it's near perfect. I'd say 9.5 out of 10, really. Uh, paint finish is still great. Um, just really beautiful. Uh, the wheels, there's no curb rash in any of them. They're all representative of this wheel. I mean, no nicks at all. Um, the tires, Goodyear Eagle RSAs, they look to have been put on the car uh, mileage-wise, not too long ago. Age-wise, I'm not sure. I tried to find a date code on them. Uh, I don't know if I'm reading it right. I believe it said a year that would have been indicated 2002. Uh, again, not dry rotted, but by age, uh, they're they're older. Uh, great tread, but so I'm just I'm gonna point out some of the stuff here, just the minor stuff. Got this little ding here on the door. It's raised up. I don't know if you can see it. Real small. Uh, going down the car. Like I said, real clean. Got some underside photos for anybody. I'd crawl back under there, but it's uh, it's tough. Tough getting down there on a cold day like today. But I've got photos for anyone interested. Um, you know, the car really, it really is a beautiful car. Uh, you can see the kind of the twin tip exhaust. It's all original. I can kind of poke under there. I don't know how much you can really see there. But uh, anyways, going back to small flaws, we got a small chip here on the spoiler. Car did get a little wet sitting outside. Kind of drives me crazy, but small chip there on the spoiler. Um, got a small nick here on the bumper. Going back around the car again. Uh, real beautiful finish. One thing I'll note. Some of the tempo experts, one thing I found out about this car, this GLS emblem here, it's actually supposed to be right there. This should be a Ford emblem. This is one of the flaws of this car. I found out from the original owner, this car was damaged in transit, isolated to this trunk lid. And so uh, my understanding is they took another trunk lid from a Bimini blue car and they uh, reinstalled the badge. They did it in the wrong lo location. That's the information I got from the original owner on that. So any questions that may arise, uh, that's that's the, that's the explanation on that one. Um, again, coming around here, we do have a small scrape here as well. Uh, you know, given the rarity, the obscurity of the car, you know, that's stuff that it could be touched up, maybe buffed or polished out. Um, and I think it'd be worth doing it. I really do. Uh, small scrape here. Another small one right there. Uh, small one here, and you can see just a little tiny dent. Um, let's see, I think the car is locked. Another item there, the V6 badges. Those were not unique to the GLS. Those were on all V6 tempos, 92 to 94. Uh, the factory fog is the front bumper. Those were unique to it. Um, we're going to open the car up, take a little look inside, and then we'll hop around the other side and I'll start the car up. <sighs> One thing I'll touch on, I really don't like the look of these, but they are original Ford dealer installed. So I guess if there's any forgiveness there, that's it. Uh, looking at the upholstery. You know, it's all in very nice shape. The lighting may not be the best, but uh, the carpet, real clean. Everything in real good condition. The dash, you know, everything's perfect in the car. Put it on to the other side. Get in here. 
it does have a, a power lumbar seat but all other all other uh movements of the seat are manual in fashion obviously car does have tilt uh, power windows or sorry manual windows power locks uh pretty typical um you have the cassette adapter i'll include in sale if you want to use your phone for music go ahead and uh automatic seat belts kicking on there and kick the gauges on go ahead and fire it up all the old school hvac controls factory radio functions just wonderfully i guess that's suitable uh, this car does have premium sound and a factory amplifier, from my understanding. Shifter for the 5-speed. Again, I really apologize for this poor lighting. Um, you've got the factory fog light button here, on and off. 